Okay, we are now ready to create connections for the homepage and we have two buttons here, sign out button and load member profile button and we have one label which will display uh, user full name. So I'm going to create a Swift class first. So I will open up my left side panel, select uh, the project and then file, new file, Kako touch class next and that's going to be home page view controller subclass of ui view controller this is important uh, going next create and we have home page view controller i'll copy the name of this view controller and we'll switch back to main storyboard hide the right side panel select my view controller and then open up the right side panel, switch to identity inspector here and paste the name of the class for the custom class and the same value homepage view controller for the identity storyboard ID and hit enter. Okay, so now I don't need my, no, I still do. I will hide the left right side panel and I will select this view controller and open it in assistant editor. Oh, it's already loaded. Okay, so good. Now I'm going to create connection outlet. So I'll select the sign out button, hold control, click, drag and drop it right here. And that's going to be action name. I'll give it a name, sign out button tapped. Connect and now I'll move it a little bit down here at the bottom like this and I'll print a line print sign out button tapped okay so one more connection for a load member a load user profile and that's going to be connection type action and I will call it load member profile button tapped. I'll copy the print statement and paste it here. And copy the name of the function, I'll paste it here. Okay, and one last outlet for the label. I'll paste it here at the top. And that's going to be connection type outlet. Um, user full name label. Connect. Okay, so we are done with the, uh, we are done creating user interface for our pages and we're done setting up connection outlets. Um, for the text fields, for labels and for buttons. So it's it's time for us to start writing uh, Swift code and make these buttons work and do something actually. Okay, so let's continue.